Hello everybody, welcome back to the Food and Drink Chronicles. Today we are in Funko Hollywood. I think we're on Hollywood Drive, right? Okay. Yeah, this place is pretty cool. So we're gonna check it out and we're probably gonna try and see if we can get some drinks. seen Funkos like these before. Hmm. And what is this guy right here? Kraft macaroni and cheese. That is a cool little Funko right there. Light bright. Oh. That's interesting. A light bright Funko. Hey, they they just Funko everything. What is this? It's a star patch? Sour patch. Sour patch. You got a little sour patch kid. You don't even care so. That is really cool. Kool-Aid man right here, busting through the wall. Oh yeah! Jolly Green Giant. Doesn't look so giant though. So I'm not a Funko collector at all, but I think it's really cool to check this place out. I might have to buy a Funko. And one of my favorite franchises, they have Star Wars stuff. Little C-3PO and R2-D2. So one of my favorite scenes from Star Wars is uh, the Han Solo scene with, with Greedo. It's like, who shot first? Was it Han or was it Greedo? I would like to think it was Han. Han shot first. This is cool though. I like this. It's really cool seeing Boba Fett. So Boba Fett is one of my favorite TV series from the Star Wars series that had recently come out. So this is cool to see this, but I think this is the original Boba Fett. Yeah. That's really cool. And now we're in the speeder. So this is a really cool speeder. You got stormtroopers, another trooper. I think this is like from that iconic scene where it's like these aren't the droids you're looking for. It's cool, Mandalorian lounge fly. I don't think I've seen this one. And also, they have a sand trooper lounge fly. Oh, I can't make a good impression. But that is really cool. Oh, there's a chrysanthemum Funko Pop. What the heck? I gotta get that. <laughs> Black chrysanthemum, that is so cool. I'm getting him. But first I'm gonna look around a little bit more because I don't have to carry him around all, all day. Oh yeah, that's cool. And they got Mando. Ooh, that's a Bantha little wallet thing. Yeah. That's pretty neat. And they got a bar scene right here. Jawas up top. And what is Star Wars without the baby Yoda merch? Meditating Yoda, well, Grogu, yeah. It's like Grogu, Mando, on the Bantha. This one I've been eyeballing. Little Grogu with his little ball. That's cool. Grogu in a sack. Unhelmeted Mando with Grogu. And I kind of wish they sold this Bantha stick right here. That's really neat. Bubble freak. Oh, Darth Vader. That is a cool Funko of Darth Vader. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Babu Freak. The giant Babu Freak. Little Jawa guy right here. Pretty cool. And even the giant droids are really neat looking. That's pretty cool. And they got a neat little facade here. Little door you can go into. 
They did not skip out on the theming here. This is just perfect. So cool. Got a lounge fly stormtrooper backpack. What is this? Oh, it looks like a Jedi backpack. With lightsabers. We got 3PO. I don't think I've ever seen this many variations of lounge flies. I mean, I go to the Disney parks, I go to the Universal parks, but they have a lot of lounge flies there, but nothing like this. This is very unique. Celeste? Yeah. We may have to get a lounge fly. Yeah, I might have to get one. So they're, we have. They're so cute. Yeah, we, we haven't even gotten to the Harry Potter stuff. <laughs> Leaving that for the end. Mm hmm. Obi Wan Kenobi, that was a pretty good series. Good scenes with Darth Vader. Oh, they got Kylo Loren. And they got Darth Vader in his little pod. That's crazy. Oh, and they got the Funko Pop Advent Calendar for Star Wars. 30% off. So we have a Funko Pop calendar, but it's the Harry Potter version. And I gotta say, these calendars are really awesome to have. We've got some scary theming in here. You can probably hear in the background there's Stranger Things, which I do see a Demogorgon. I'd love to go check out the Demogorgon. If I could get a lounge fly. Oh my god, look at the I gizmo right this under one. it. What, they have a gizmo? Yeah, right there on the bottom. Oh, they have gizmo. A little gizmo Funko Pop. I'm a collector of gizmo stuff. That is really cool. It's like the original gizmo, too. But yeah, these lounge flies are pretty neat. Well, I don't wear lounge flies, but if I could wear a lounge fly, I think I would rock this one. Yeah, it looks like a bargain bin of lounge flies right here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's all like the, Hall like the Halloween versions. Yeah. So what, they got Beetlejuice, they got Gremlins, they got some kind of a scarecrow right there. I don't know what that is. You now they got a Stay Puff Marshmallow guy with a little lighter? I guess this is from the movie. I haven't seen the movie yet. But that's a pretty cool looking Funko Pop right there. I mean, these are all really cool. I've been surprised at like, the level of detail and the, the coolness of these Funko Pops. Oh, they got Pennywise the Clown. They float. They all float. It's crazy. The dragon from Game of Thrones. It's so cool looking. Well, if you're a fan of Stranger Things, they have Eleven and the Demogorgon. That is really good theming right there. It's like you're actually in the land of Stranger Things. Man, that is cool. I really enjoy the seasons of Stranger Things. Really great series. And there are so many photo opportunities here. It is unbelievable. I mean, Game of Thrones, Star Wars, Rick and Morty right back here. This is a cool place to check out. But bring a camera person. I think Celeste is gonna go do some traveling around the universe, time travel, whatever, with Rick and Morty. That is cool. Another one of my favorite franchises, Jurassic Park. There's the T-Rex and there is Malcolm laying on the Jeep. That is really cool. Man, everything here is really cool. This is the most interesting store of Funkos that I've ever seen. I mean, I've seen Funkos at like Walmart, Target, but nothing to this caliber. Now we got Frozen, we got uh, Elsa and Olaf. It's like the most least popular part of this place. But yeah, Disney stuff. So if you want to come here and get your Disney merch, it's a pretty good place to check out. I mean, Funko does everything. They do Disney parks, Universal parks. They've got a good license agreement with everyone, I think. You want to get a sprinkle dress? Yeah. It looks like a donut. Oh, uh, that's Mickey stuff. Yeah, it's got like Mickey ice cream, Donald ice cream. That's kind of cute. Huh. You know, it's got hidden Mickeys on it too. I don't know if y'all can see those little Mickeys. Mickey sprinkles. Hmm. And they have a little skirt from uh, Beauty and the Beast. 
be our guest. It's enchanting. It's actually a nice shirt. The print looks really good. Now they got a princess book purse, Beauty and the Beast, Little Mermaid, Sleeping Beauty and Cinderella. Oh, and Snow White. It's nice. A little Funko purse. 55 bucks, that's not bad. They got a Seven Dwarfs dress. I didn't know Funko did dresses, but these are actually pretty solid dresses. And they got more dresses right here. Dresses and skirts. They got a Pocahontas lounge fly and they got Pocahontas fun Funko Pops. They've got everything Disney here. What do you call the pig? Pua. Pua. Oh yeah, it says Moana and Pua. That's so cool. What? Oh, a little Moana purse. Yeah, wallet. Huh. That's cute. That is cute. And they got a Moana t-shirt. Wow. What is that? Oh, they got the crab? The Tamatoa? Huh. The singing crab in the movie? That's pretty cool. Wait, was he in that movie, Moana? I guess he was. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about him. Shiny. Oh, yeah. He has one of the best songs in the movie. He does. <laughs> yeah, so this is a Harley Quinn from Suicide Squad. Oh, yeah. And they got everybody from the Justice League, Superman, Wonder Woman, Jason Momoa, Aquaman, Batman, Robin, and Cyborg is all the way up here. Well, that's not Jason Momoa, Aquaman, but that is Aquaman. At the uh, Batman. Pretty cool. They got more Batmans. They got all kinds of Batman figures. They even have a giant Batman. The Batman. That's uh, Robert Pattinson's Batman. They got Bane. Looking like a sugar skull. Riddler. And that's a weird looking Batman. I don't even know what that one is. Batman Hush? Hmm. Never heard of it. Yeah, they got everything you can think of here. So, DC fans, this is where it's at. No. This is really cool. Ursula and the Eels. Man. It's a really neat design with the ship. I kind of wish I could go in here. That is cool. And you got Ariel on the ship, you got the Little Mermaid. Wow. That is cool. All right, for my Harry Potter fans, you got the Harry Potter section. We're gonna look at these Funkas. Wow, Dumbledore. We got Neville Longbottom at Honeydukes. Primus Lupin at the Shrieking Shack. Madame Rose Murda with the Three Broomsticks. One of my favorite restaurants in the Harry Potter world. Different variations of Albus Dumbledore. They even have like a Funko verse strategy game with the Wizarding World. It actually looks pretty cool. I wonder what these games are about. Just living our best life here <laughs> <laughs> with the gang. This is so cool. These are like huge Funko Pops. It's like you're at Hogwarts school. Yeah. With Hermione, Ron, and Harry here with the gang. That's so cool. This is awesome. I didn't think there was so much stuff here. There's new with his wand. I have that one, it's a pretty cool wand. But you can't have a Niffler without Newt. And that Niffler is cute. We like collecting these things. You gotta find a Niffler. And we got Luna Lovegood up there. And in the distance we got Dobby. That is a cute little Dobby. That's interesting, they have the moving portraits here. I don't see it moving yet though. So what books does it have? So it looks like it has like books from the school? Yeah, I mean they're just wizarding um, books. Sonnets of a Sorcerer, Weird Wizarding Dilemmas and Their Solutions, Extreme Incantations, Achievements and Charming, and what does it say? I don't know what that one says. <laughs> they only got the 
one lounge fly, right? They have this one. Which has the books too. Yeah. But you have like what? Three or two Harry Potter lounge flies? Yeah. Huh. But this one's cool. It is pretty cool. This one's like more book theme. Oh, it's from The Secrets of Dumbledore. Oh, uh, yeah, it does say that. Okay. I wonder... Oh, The Secrets of Dumbledore. Okay, so that was the last movie? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the most recent movie. Yeah, so I'm kind of surprised here because out of all the different places, this one has the least amount of lounge flies, and I've yet to find a Niffler yet. So I still got to look around a little bit more, but for lounge flies, I've only seen one. The other lounge fly. So it's Harry and Ron when they crashed into the, what is it called, the Weeping Willow? Oh yeah, the um, Whomping Willow. The Whomping Willow. And then Hogwarts in the background. That's kind of cool. They have this one. We've seen this one at Universal Studios. Hmm. I think it's a variation of it. I think the other one is slightly different. You might be right about that. Yeah. So hmm. that's cool. They have like unique um, designs for the store. Oh, that's interesting. Like the line had the, the Luna wears. All right, so that's another lounge fly. They have these two. So they have a Ravenclaw. They have a Slytherin. And they have a Gryffindor lounge fly. I believe if you switch it on the other side, you might see the logo. Yeah, there it'd be. Those are actually pretty nice. Yeah, that's cool. I've never seen those. At least not in the Harry Potter world. It's very different. Oh, and it has two compartments on the inside. Oh. That's cool. You make a good purse. Yeah. I don't know if it'd be better than your Louis Vuitton purse. <laughs> Well, they do have Dobby. It's like he's reading a book. Ooh. Oh, it's from the crimes of... Oh, so it's not Luna. No, it's a lion that comes out and makes itself uh, invisible, I think, that they're trying to catch. Huh. I don't remember that from Crimes on Grindelwald. Yeah. So this is a fantastic beast lounge fly. Put it back. <laughs> They got the Funko calendar, the advent calendar. We have this one and it's really cool. It will not disappoint. So I guess this is the one area of the store where people tend to buy a lot of things. So I think they might be low on stock on some stuff. But they still have quite a bit. But anything that's like brand new and like really cool to this world, it's probably gone really quickly. You know what? I did not notice these lounge flies. So they have these ones. It looks like a little envelope to Hogwarts. This is kind of cool. You can get a giant Harry Potter with Hedwig. I gotta say, those robes actually look pretty cool with the scarf and everything. This looks like a year one Harry Potter. Wait, 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 wait. So you're, you will either want to get that one or the Gremlin? Yeah. What do you think? I think I like the Gremlin more. flies do I need another one no <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see well, let us know in the comments which one you think she should get but then again she's gonna have to get one today anyways but so I'm just kind of curious of what y'all think so I think at this point Celeste is gonna go with the purse is this it yeah, this is it is this my next purchase go with your costume. Yeah. It does come with uh, a handle. That's pretty cool. I like the brass metal. It's not the shiny kind of metal, so it goes with the whole Harry Potter vibe. So I really like it. This might be it. And you got the headband on right now. Yeah, I do. I have my headband on. You gotta represent all the time. We've got some scratches on them, a little bit of wear. Yeah, that one's more on the top. Is that one, this is scratched as well? Well, this one's scratched on the back part. Oh. I'm 
pretty sure they're gonna get more worn, but man, it becomes more noticeable after a while. Hmm. So I think randomly, somebody decided that they didn't want to get this launch fly. Probably because they saw the Harry Potter one and thought, hmm, decisions I'm gonna get this. Decisions were made. Yep, decisions were made. But they have another launch fly that I didn't even notice. And it's like a movie lounge fly sort of thing. But I take back what I said, they actually do have a pretty good amount of lounge flies in this area. They have quite a lot. Oh yeah. They're really different than what you can get at Universal. Definitely. It's definitely worth the trip down here. Because there's just so many more Funko Pops that are not usually found at the stores. And lunch flies as well, and even clothes. Yeah. And there's the King Titan himself, Thanos, Peter Quill. Yeah. That's really cool. Star Lord. Star Lord. Yeah. yeah. So we are running out of time in this store. We actually need to really quickly get our purchase before we get kicked out, and you know, won't be able to buy anything. Oh, they have a Miss Minutes lounge fly. <laughs> I think I've seen this before, but that is still really cool. And they have, I think for Falcon and the Winter Soldier in the TV show, the new oh Falcon launch fly. What? Oh, you're looking. Miss Minutes? Yeah, Miss Minutes in a, in a purse. <laughs> what is going on here? I'm running out of hands, Teddy. Look. Hey, y'all. <laughs> that is so cute. Man, it's getting more and more difficult to make a decision. I mean, where else can you go and find lounge flies like this? I don't know if you'd find that in Disney. Oh, Molly, and they even have Sylvie and Funko Pop. Oh, that's cool. Does she have a wand? What is that? Oh, it's a sword. Never mind. It's a sword. <laughs> I was like, she has a wand? What's her look she, like for She's probably a Slytherin, too. <laughs> <laughs> yep, it's like Slytherin robes. <laughs> oh my god. I kind of want Miss Minutes now. Oh, you want to get Miss Minutes and the uh, Gryffindor one? <sighs> Choices. So many decisions. I don't know, Teddy. Well, I don't know. The store closes at 6 and it's now 5.40. We got 20 minutes to make a decision. Or maybe even less than that. I'm still going to check out. I'll let you know what I decide. <laughs> yeah, stay tuned to find stay out. Stay tuned. <laughs> and it's like now we're in Disney or something because there's a lot of Disney stuff over here too. Aladdin. There's Moshu up there in Milan. Oh yeah, they do like books. They got Dumbo. Yeah, these lounge flies are like books. Oh, that's interesting. A little storybook. Yeah. When I see an elephant fly. The Queen of Hearts. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Oh yeah. Little waffle cone Sunday. I think it's Winnie the Pooh. Winnie the Pooh? Yeah, it's Winnie the Pooh. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, it's honey with honeybees. Oh. And it has little ears on top. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's cute. I almost thought it was Mickey ears. Yeah. <laughs> a little pumpkin bag. Oh, yeah. Jack Skeleton. Yeah. Which they have Jack Skeleton and Zero right over here. That is really, really cool. Kind of makes me uh, think about the Haunted Mansion Christmas theme up at Disneyland. That is really neat. And they got more merch from A Nightmare Before Christmas. Kind of neon like. With the boogie man over there. Alright, she's trying to make a decision because now she just grabbed the Gremlin Lounge Fly. So hard to make decisions, but they're about to close this place down, so we gotta pick something and get out of here. <laughs> We got our merchandise. I think the store closes early because they want to get people out of here so they can go home and so. re relax. Yeah. So that is it. We'll show you in a little bit what I ended up getting. Well, the Funko store was really cool. 
we bought a lot of stuff, which I guess we're gonna show right now. So, what did Celeste get in terms of a lounge fly? So, I got the, what is this, the Gremlin? Yeah, that's the Stripe. Movie. Oh, Stripe? Yeah, Stripe from Gremlins stripe. when he's wearing his 3D glasses. Which is really cool, it was a really tough decision. But, I did not only get this one. I actually got the Gryffindor purse as well. So, I had to put Miss Minnip's bag. I just didn't think it was as practical or that I was gonna wear it as often. But this one, every time we go to Universal, I will for sure wear. And every time we go to Disney, I can wear now my little striped lunch fly. I mean, Universal? Huh? Oh yeah, Universal. I don't think Gremlins is a Disney thing. Where is Gremlins? Or what is Gremlins? I mean, Gremlins, I think, is uh, Warner Brothers. So Warner Brothers, they may kind of partner up with Universal. It'd be kind of cool if they could actually like, I don't know, do like some Halloween Horror Nights with Gremlins. I don't know if it happens. But we got a couple of Funko Pops too. We got Black Chrysanthemum and we got Gizmo, which we cannot pass on Black Chrysanthemum. He was really cool. Yeah. And we're not big on buying Funko Pop figures, but these ones are really neat. So we're glad that we got them. Yeah, it was a good trip overall. I'm glad we were able to stop by. Sadly, we were not able to build our own little Funko Pop figure. So just FYI, you need to make an appointment beforehand yep. so that you can actually get a chance to do it. So don't be like us. I think we're going to walk around here for a little bit and go get a drink. All right, I think this video has gone on long enough, so I'm going to cut it off right here. And then next week, we're going to have part two of this video where we go to the Frolic Room and the Mercado. So stay tuned and subscribe if you have not subscribed. That's it. Food and Drink Chronicles out.